With the current health crisis forcing employers to either slash work hours or temporarily lay off workers, many people are looking for ways to supplement their income. And that's where a side hustle can help you make some extra money. Joining me now to talk more about this is creator of Side Hustle Made Simple, Susie Moore. And Susie, people do have a lot of time to think of a talent that they can turn into cash. So how do you go about finding a side hustle for you? You are absolutely right. Now is an ideal time to start a side hustle if this is what you are feeling in terms of how to really contribute more to your family's income, to add an additional revenue stream, to really hedge against this very uncertain economy. The first question I ask people when it comes to starting a side hustle is what do people naturally come to you for? What's a skill that you have? What is it that you know naturally people would you know seek you out to, for your help with? Maybe to teach something, maybe to assist them in some area, maybe they need to learn something from you or you can help them solve a problem. We have so many more skills than we often give ourselves credit for. And does the side hustle need to be virtual right now since everything's like Zoom and Skype? <laughs> Yes, and luckily there's never been a better time in history to be virtual. We're so well equipped right now. There are so many great free resources available to us. And there's so much that we can do online. We've already seen this big trend. Fitness teachers, for example, yoga teachers, coaches, therapists, all shifting their businesses and practices online. It's very simple, very straightforward. Whatever you can teach somebody face to face, often we can migrate online too. And how do you attract clients without just annoying them? Because, you know, there's so many people who have, <laughs> yeah. who have side hustles yes. on Facebook and they try to sell you stuff and that gets annoying. Yeah, it's, it's absolutely true. When it comes to starting a side hustle, you don't want to spend money up front, right? We don't want it to be an expensive hobby, but we spend money on ads and we, you know, we, we put ourselves out there finding new and fresh ways, you know, uh, it, it, creating an expensive website, for example. You just want to start where you are with what you have. You can start using your LinkedIn contact list, for example. Social media is a great way to begin, right. uh, not to be out there and annoying like you just <laughs> mentioned, but just sharing and, you know, explaining to others what it is that you're making available, especially right now. Now, people are exceptionally supportive. And we only have about 45 seconds, but is it okay right now to charge people for services during a pandemic? Absolutely. There is nothing good that happens, Leslie, when money stops circulating in an economy. And we already see trends, too, where people are spending in new ways when it comes to online consumption, the type of products and services that they're buying. People are spending money anyway on what it is that they need, what brings them joy, entertainment, connection, comfort. So it's awesome to kind of join that mix and make something available that can bring one of those people to your community, one of those, one of those things to your community. And we are running out of time, but is there a certain time frame where it's still hasn't taken off and gotten out off the ground, you should say, well, maybe I should try something else. Absolutely not. You need to stay at it when okay. it comes to winning in this game. It's all about just staying at it, being focused and just not giving up. All right, Susie, thank you so much for your time. Great advice. Guys, we have to take a quick break. We'll be right back.